I'm Al Bacon and I would like to welcome you to my Let's Fix It Right channel for easy and straightforward solutions for your home improvement, maintenance and repair needs and projects. And this is my faithful assistant Cody who will help us get this project right with his dogged determination and helpful project tips. In this episode Cody and I will show you how to easily install laminate floor covering on a stairwell landing like a pro. This was my first attempt at this project to achieve these results. Consequently, this video will enable you to achieve similar professional results on your first attempt as well. As you'll see in my follow-on videos, I installed this laminate flooring on my landing to match my capitred stair covering and risers as well as the footrest on my basement bar. This was my original roughed-in builder grade stairwell leading into my basement. As you come down to here to a landing and make a 180 degree turn, there's another short set of stairs into the basement. This is the final result of my landing upgrade. As opposed to having to purchase new carpet every five to eight years, this laminate covering is a permanent one-time installation which could last indefinitely depending on your stairwell traffic. As you can see, its beautiful appearance blends in perfectly with the upper stairs. After making a 180 degree turn, the landing perfectly matches the beauty of the lower stairs as well. As you come back up, this is the finished landing and upper stairs from a different perspective. These are some pictures of my rug covered upper stairwell and landing which I plan to upgrade to laminate on the landing and capitred covering on the stairs like my basement stairwell. If you have no need for a basement upgrade, you may want to upgrade a rug covered upstairs stairwell using my techniques in this video for a much longer lasting and cost saving solution than carpet. In the landing area of the stairwell, I opted to glue and nail laminate planks that match my stair risers and capitred coverings as you can see here. I purchased all my capitred covering in American Spirit laminate planks from Floor & Decor which is a great one-stop shopping area with competitive pricing for all your floor and stair material needs. I found that Floor & Decor had most of the items I needed in their store or could FedEx them to my house within two days. Checking with Home Depot, I determined that I had to special order most of these floor components with up to a six week turnaround time. It's important to note that I installed my first two rows of laminate planks in conjunction with my stair skirt installation in episode 59. First I had to install these rows just prior to installing the stair skirt here on the left side. Second, this first row of planks established this important line which defines this edge of a stair nose that I will build in a later video. Also in conjunction with starting your laminate plank layout, you'll need to determine how you want to stagger your planks. In my case you'll see that I staggered mine by one third as shown here. For cutting your laminate planks, I recommend that you use a compound miter saw like mine, a skill saw, or a table saw. Floor & Decor's American Spirit laminate label has a great set of instructions on the back side. I highly recommend that you read through them in detail, or if you selected a different brand, read those instructions. Now, according to the instructions when working with these planks, you start on the right side which is the tongue side, as you can see here. And we'll push that up against the wall. And on the opposite side is the lower side, which is the, the groove side. Working right to left, we'll place the tongue side up against the wall and keep the groove side or lower portion here on the left. and the tongue, the upper portion, is on the right side of this piece. So starting from right to left, 
install these like so. Uh, put this in place and then follow on here. Put this one in place. And a little bit too tight in there. Okay, so that's so basically what we're gonna do here is glue the bottoms of these first. I just want to demo how those slipped in here. And once we glue them, we'll permanently affix them with a nail gun. So at this time, we'll flip our flooring panel over and apply a few beads of construction adhesive. You don't have to apply a whole lot, but these really go a long way in permanently securing that floor to the underlayment. Next, I like to spread it out a little bit so you don't get any obvious high points. Okay, so that completes that. Okay, so we're up on the landing and we're gonna apply our our glued piece of laminate in place at this time. And before permanently affixing this, let's make sure we have our distance right. I wouldn't want to get in a position where this is too big. Here. Oops. Back to this. Tongue and groove in here. Do have enough room yes okay let's make sure we get enough room on the wall here and let's fix this in place before we play put any nails in let's make sure we got it right and we do reach for my nail gun and I, I like to put these deep into the groove where they won't interfere at all. Right there. Can't even see them. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that one's in place. Let's put glue on the other one and permanently install it also. Okay, so we've completed gluing the, the second and smaller piece of laminate flooring and let's put it into place at this time. And as you know, we're gonna have a three quarter inch molding around the outer edge here. So you're not gonna see this gap. The gap is fine. Actually, the gap is probably good because it ensures you don't make an error and cut it too, too long. Same thing goes. We'll permanently affix it in place. This is our finished nail gun. completes that installation. Using the same approach, we'll glue and nail the next two rows in place.
use my table saw to cut these final two pieces of permanent flooring for the landing. So at this time I'm going to put some glue on them and we'll return back here to nail them in place. Okay, so with my two final panels glued, let's put them in place. And in this case, we're going to put them both down at the same time. And they're in good shape. Let's go get the nail done. Okay, using this sample piece of molding, I'll ensure that I keep my nails underneath the molding where it can't be seen. Okay, in good shape. This completes the job. As you can see, it's been a hard day's work for Cody. This concludes this episode where Cody and I showed you how to easily install laminate floor covering on a stairwell landing like a pro. As I mentioned, this was my first attempt at this project to achieve these results. Consequently, this video will enable you to achieve similar professional results on your first attempt as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and select the YouTube bell so YouTube will notify you of all my new projects immediately after I publish them. At this time, Cody and I are moving on to our next project. You're more than welcome to follow. In addition, if you have a great project that you want to post on my YouTube channel, email me some pictures and a brief description of it. If it qualifies for the Let's Fix It Right standards to help others, I'll interview you over the phone as a guest do-it-yourselfer, produce a high-quality video, and post it on my Let's Fix It Right channel. For the year following this posting, I'll share 50% of the potential YouTube benefits with you. If you have any subject matter requests or recommendations, please contact me. All of this said, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel, follow my projects, and save a bundle of money doing it.